we're going to be talking about some properties of triangles. Not all the properties. Triangles are mysterious, complex, and magical things. We can't understand them in a short video. But I'm going to throw some general ones at you, so here we go. One thing we know is that the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if we take the measure of each of the three inside angles and add them up, they're going to equal 180. This is useful because if we had a missing angle of a triangle like so, and we knew the other two, 45 and 87, we can add all of them up, 45 plus 87 plus x, set them equal to 180, and solve for your missing angle. Another characteristic of triangles is that no one side measure can be greater than the sum of the other two side measures. In other words, if you add up the length of any two sides, it's going to be bigger than the third side. Okay, picture this. Say you had a triangle and one side had a length of 1, another side had a length of 2, and then another side had a length of 50,000. Would that work? No, there's no way that these ends would connect. This side's way too long. And we could see that 1 plus 2 is not bigger. It's actually less than 50,000. So since these two small sides added up is not bigger than 50,000, this is an impossible triangle. Let's see if you could figure out whether or not these are possible triangle side lengths. Well, let's take the two smallest sides, 2 and 2, and if we add those, 2 plus 2, are those bigger than the third side of 3? Well, 4 is bigger than 3, so yes, exactly, these are possible side lengths. What about 7, 8, and 20? Well, let's take our small side lengths again. 7 plus 8, is that greater than 20? 7 plus 8 is 15, which is smaller than 20. So since the two sides are smaller than the third side when added, this is not a possible triangle. What about 10, 5, and 5? If we add the two small sides, 5 plus 5, is that bigger than the third side, 10? Well, 5 plus 5 equals 10 which is not bigger than 10, it has to be bigger, but since it's equal, these are not possible triangle side lengths. The last thing we are going to cover is the relationship between sides and opposite angles. Now an opposite side and angle are just those that are directly across from one another. So AB would have an opposite angle of 51 degrees. As you can see, it's directly across. The rule of thumb is the bigger the side length, the bigger the opposite angle. The smaller the side length, the smaller the opposite angle. For example, if we have this triangle here with 51, 54, and 75 degrees, and we wanted to find the biggest side length, we can use the biggest angle, 75, to go opposite and find our biggest side length. That would be AC. We know AC is going to be bigger or greater than the next biggest side, which is opposite of 54 degrees because that's the next biggest angle, which would be BC. And we know BC is going to be greater than our last side, or our smallest side, which is opposite of the smallest angle, which is going to be AB. We can write an inequality to show this relationship. AC is greater than BC is greater than AB. We got those by pairing them up with their opposite angles. Now we can do the same thing in the other direction. Say we wanted to find our smallest angles to our largest angles. Well, let's take our smallest side, that would be 9, find the opposite angle, that would be angle B. Since that angle is the opposite smallest side, we know that angle, measure of angle B is going to be less than, let's find the next smallest side, which is 14, the opposite angle of 14 is angle C, that means that measure of angle C, B is going to be less than the measure of angle C, which is going to be less than our largest angle, which is opposite of our largest side, 17, and that's going to be angle A. So there we have our angles in order of size. The B is less than C is less than A. We can order angles and sides from smallest to big, biggest to small, however we want. Just remember the relationship that the bigger sides are opposite the bigger angles and the smaller sides are opposite of the smaller angles.